a team is a group of individuals united by a common task. Whether in the workplace or on the soccer pitch, they work together to accomplish the same goal. But for anyone who's ever been a part of a team, you know that the most frustrating part of a team can be the people on it, especially when they're not qualified or capable of accomplishing the goal. Okay, here's what's going to happen today. Brandon and I are going to sit back to back. He is blindfolded, cannot see a thing. I am going to have these noise-canceling headphones on with some very loud music playing, so I won't be able to hear anything. He won't be able to see anything. We're going to take some Lego. And we're going to try and build a set. I have the instructions, and I'm not going to be able to see what he's building. I'm going to have to describe to him what he needs to do. Have you ever been a part of a team with poor communication? So the first thing to build is uh, the Obi-Wan. Okay. So that I, I assume there's only one little Lego guy, but he's got long hair, and you gotta assemble him. So hopefully you can find a little dude. Okay, the first piece is like it's like a, it's flat, but it's not a rectangle. It's like tapered. I so gotta find one end, but the other. It doesn't come to a point, but it's just like it's thinner at one end than at the other. We often treat the church like a team, expecting every member to pull their weight to accomplish the objective that we have in mind. That's just terrible. I can hear that I'm shouting. <laughs> I can't hear myself. I can't, I can't, um, I can't even find Obi Wan. Okay, there's a little. But the church isn't a team, it's a body. And the most frustrating part of working with a body is realizing that every part is equally incapable of accomplishing the goal. So it's like, it's like four blocks on top, two on the bottom, and it's like, it's like at an angle. The two, the two slots goes, anyway, that goes at the very end of the grade. I of the, the first piece. <laughs> I haven't even made Obi-Wan yet. <laughs> okay, we're going to try challenge number two. Uh, this time right, it's going to be the same, except we're going to be facing each other. Today we work together to accomplish a common goal, putting together a basic Lego kit. Now, Kevin can, is going to build it today. That's why he has a GoPro. He can, he can only use his feet. We work for several hours with varying degrees of disability. We tried it blindfolded. We tried it with our feet. This is a metaphor for life in the church. Closer to yourself. Yeah, there it is. And it's going to clip on, yeah, right there. Yeah, okay, flip your car over. Some people are very good at assembling. Others have a clear understanding of the instructions. The jets are positioned at the back. Those red, those burgundy ones are the jets, and they sit towards the back. Each has been empowered by the same spirit, who apportions each one individually as he wills. The body does not consist of one member, but many, and each with varying degrees of capability. If all were a single member, where would the body be? Were we close? We as a church have been given tasks slightly beyond the realm of human capability. Down, yeah, by your, it's under your palm, yeah. After all, who can grasp the love of God? Or who can measure his riches? Who can truly understand God's character and its fullness? But we have been equipped with varying degrees of capability. And when we come together, and work together as a body, the task is within reach. We did it! Nero, Nero, Nero. We built a Lego. He made me deaf. I, I yelled a lot. Oh boy. Good. Okay, let's do it one more time. I don't know if they can see it. Should we get closer?